Huh. Well, welcome back guys. Uh, this is Patrick Jackson uh, here with another OpenGL 2.1 tutorial for the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, today will be a special video, more of a special request. Um, I will be doing the more other videos. Um, in fact, uh, the next one will be about um, the true nature of rotation and translation and stuff in OpenGL. But today we'll be doing a special function. Um, requested by a user and this would be GL read pixels. And what GL read pixels does is it will read pixels. It won't even read just one pixel. It'll read a swath of pixels um, that you specified um, in, a, in a square. And what will happen is it will read those pixels from the GL buffer and store them to uh, whatever you want. And then you can do whatever you want with it as you please. So this is Refresher. Let's um, build and show what we have. This is just going to be a square that can be rotated around um, and stuff like that. Um, and that's all, all it is. Uh, you'll see something weird where it says rotate um, and, then a, and a pointer. Don't worry about that. That's, uh, that's uh, something neat uh, I did. Um, a while ago just to make rotations easier. I will be describing this, um, I think, in the next video. So don't, don't worry about that. So right now, let's go underneath the GL swap buffers because that's where, that's uh, where we are. And we will call uh, the function. We will call GL read pixels. Um, x y x and y is where you want the square of reading to start um, from the lower left corner and then width and height uh, width and height is just uh, you know the x and y of the, of the square size you want to read um, then we'll be doing gl R rgba because if you look in here we have RGBA enabled. Okay. Just keeping my notes current here. Uh, then we want to store as a GL unsigned byte. I think those are the easiest, easiest to, uh, to do, but of course you can do whatever you want. And then pixels, pixels is going to be an array. Um, you can do a malloc array, whatever you want, but uh, we shall see. So basically, x and y are going to be gl ints, x equals zero. So what I'm going to test is I'm going to test the mm -hmm. lower left hand corner. You know, check ch the lower left hand, lowermost left hand pixel on the screen because um, okay, so it'll be zero zero then what it has to do is it has to go through gl size int width equals one i just want to do one pixel so it'll be one by one gl size i height equals one cool and then let's make the array that's an unsigned char right because we're doing on un gl unsigned byte gl unsigned bytes which are pretty similar pixels and then let's do four we're doing four because it's rgba times the one by one that's how many pixels we're doing we're just doing one by one pixel and let us set that to zero so now we have the x we have the X and Y of where we're going to choose. It's going to be down here. And then we have the height and width that we have the, the, the height and width of the size of the square we're going to be testing, just one. And then now we have the pixels, which is going to be the array we're going to dump this into. And let's now just print it out. Print f, um, pixel R G B A and then pixels zero T 
two. Okay, let us build. Okay, so as you can see, we have RGB of 10, uh, sorry, RGB of zero and alpha of 10. So now let us rotate that square down to the lower corner. And look, now it's 25, 25, 25. Um, and when we rotate away, it, remember we're testing the lower left hand most pixel which of course we can change by changing the X and Y value. And of course you can, you can test a whole square of pixels by changing the uh, height and width of your function too. And do with all that uh, as you will. Um, I, purp I um, do not see the, uh, the purpose of this function, um, mostly because normally what, you're, normally what you would do is if you wanted a specific pixel, in an OpenGL scene is that you would you would be raycasting anyway. So you would just use your raycast function to uh, look at look at a particular direction. Um, but of course, this will get you right down into the buffer and it's a perfectly valid way of doing so. Um, anyway, uh, that's it and I will see you next time.